what's up guys welcome back to a new video um if you are new to the channel please feel free to like and subscribe for more content like this so today i wanted to uh, talk to you guys about a bit more about a balanced diet how to set up a calorie de deficit and how to calculate your maintenance levels Okay, so to jump straight into this video, um, a balanced diet consumes of carbs, proteins, and fats. For a normal person, the average person like you and me, uh, balanced diet cons uh, consists of 55 to 60% carbs, around 25 to 30% of uh, proteins, and 50 to 20% of fats. When I say 20 to 50 percent or um, talk about percentages, it's the per percentage of your daily um, calorific intake. For instance, only 50, 15 to 20 percent of your daily, your, all of your meals, your daily calorie intake should be fats. So that's just for the normal person, that standard average person. If you are an athlete or a weightlifter or someone who's into, act, like act, exercise intensely, then this will vary. Okay, so moving on to serving suggestions. Serving suggestions for grains is between 6 to 11 servings per day. And fruit is between 2 to 4 servings per day. Vegetables is 3 to 5. Proteins is 2 to 3 and dairy is two servings. So in terms of a serving, if you um, want to calculate a serving of vegetables, that would equate to around one cup of raw vegetables. Um, next, let's move on to a calorie deficit, maintenance levels, etc. Maintenance levels can be defined as the minimum daily calorie intake that you need for your body to sustain normal functionality of its of your body for instance keep you warm um, allow for movement to be uh, to be done so that's the main things um, if you are looking for um, if you're looking to gain weight then your uh, total energy expenditure should be more than Okay, so with that said, um, according to studies, if you want to gain weight, then you would be looking f at a, a larger total in energy expenditure. But if you're looking to lose weight, then you'll be looking f at a, a, a smaller total energy expenditure rate. For instance, this the energy expenditure maintenance levels formula um, is different for males and females. So it depends on your gender what your formula will be. I'll add the formula in the description for you guys so you can have a quick look at it. But just um, to tell you a bit more about it, for instance, males would use the following equation. So it's 9.99 times your weight plus 6.25 times your height minus 4.92 times your age plus 5. So for females... The equation is 9.99 times your weight plus 6.25 times your height minus 4 times minus minus 4.92 times your age minus 161. So that's just for your resting energy expenditure. For instance, uh, your maintenance levels. Then to calculate your total energy expenditure, that's a totally different story. For instance, you need to times you need to multiply your resting energy expenditure rate with your um, activity factor. So the activity factors are also mentioned in the description, as this is different for everyone. For instance, people can have little to no um, physical activity during the day. For instance, they sit in an office all day. Um, some might have some physical activity, like cleaning the house or walking around in the office. Um, some people exercise daily. Um, some people uh, are athletes and some people are people that train extensively, like twice a day. So it all depends on your activity factor as well. Um, for instance, um, if I were to calculate my own resting expenditure energy expenditure rate, 
I'll take 9.99 times my weight plus 6.25 times my height uh, minus 4.92 times my age minus minus 161. Okay, so that would be my resting energy expenditure. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. That's my resting energy expenditure. If I times that by my activity factor, which would be around 1.3, because I exercise regularly. Um, let's times that by 1.3. So this would be the total calories that I need to intake in a day. For instance, I would need to eat around 1,800 calories to sustain my body weight. If you are looking to gain weight, then you can easily rank up the calories, eat a bit more, take it up to 2,000, whatever suits you. If you want to lose weight, you can do a bit of a calorie deficit, so you know you need to intake um, 1,800 to sustain your body weight. Then if you need to calculate your deficit, just cut it a little. It's not, you don't have to um, limit yourself just to your resting energy expenditure rates. You can still do your total energy expenditure rate, but just take it a bit lower. You don't have to cut a lot just to lose weight. It all depends on your physical activity, your amount of body fat, and your calories that you intake so thank you for sticking around watching this video and feel free to hit the notification bell if you would like to see more content when i post them thank you